Welcome everyone to this Q&A with Michaela Andriosi, the Director of Parents versus Influences. And we are currently in the eighth edition of the European Film Festival. It's an honor for me to be having this conversation with you today, Michaela. Welcome. Hi, Kwasi. I'm so, so happy to meet you, even if it's online and uh, proud to meet you and have you as a guest uh, because I know you since from here. <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I think I will just get it straight into the conversation and into the questions. Um, I'm curious to know about your choice to come on board this project um, with Fabio Bonifaci on how social media impacts your world basically and 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 how that influenced your choice to get on board especially as an actress i know yeah. here as an actress um as well you have to have like a, a good social media following in order to yes. be relevant and what all of that means and then of course in the younger generation you in order to be witnessed and relevant in the world yes you you have to be witnessed by this amplified thing that is social yes. media it's more than what we do in the day to day um, so I'm curious to know about your experience. Okay, so um, I wanted to, to um, investigate the relationship from a father and a daughter, because mm -hmm. I've been talking about women for a long time in my life, with the first two movies and a TV series, who's be releasing right now on Netflix, and with a book about the women without children, so child free. So. I wanted to change a point of view and, um, uh, um, and know better and closer fathers. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it happened that Fabio Bonifaci was writing uh, a script, uh, uh, a plot, a subject about a father who's fighting uh, her daughter's passion for social media. And in this war against social media, he, fall, he fell down in this hole of social media and it changes very, very much his point of view. Very, very much. Too much, I don't want to be spoiling about the movie, but anyway, he changes very much because he, uh, through social media, maybe feels younger and he feels alive again. So social media are pretty, uh, it's are neutral for me because mm. it's the use that you do it's how you use them i use social media to improve my work and communicate with young people the generation z is the target it's half a target of my movie and i've been studying them for a long time they have a very light relationship with social media i think lighter than we think mm. Mm -hmm. uh, they are really they are bonded in social media, but they can be sometimes more free than us because they mm -hmm. are native. They are mm -hmm. di digitally native, so they can use it more instinctively than us. Yeah, that we are learning about it as older people. So uh, it was really interesting for me to see this relationship uh, on the screen of social media because the the fight of a teenage with the, the parents is old but the territory the area is brand new because it's social media in my in my in, at, at the times in my times we uh we escape from home in the night running with the bikes and going to I mean, I don't know, kiss somebody under the moon and on in the movies. Now the, the area is in the social network, which are neutral for a certain way, but dangerous in another way. I mean, we have to mm -hmm. let uh, teenagers do what they, what they feel about social media, but we have to overlook, to watch over, mm -hmm. to make them safe. In yeah. this, in this, this is our duty. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I find it so beautiful. Um, firstly, to see father-daughter relationship, because we hear a lot about how fathers need to be there for their sons. But as a daughter myself, I'm enjoying finding the relationship and friendship with my father because it evolves as you grow older. And I saw that in the film and that was so beautiful to see. Um, but also I'm curious about your stylistic choice. I think that feeds into this with um, having um, moments with like the, the social media screen in screen. Yes. Um, and, and, and choices like that, that were very fascinating because it blurs the gap between reality and and this this other social world that we sometimes don't see but like you were saying seeing my nieces and nephews grow up with their screens I thought I was tech savvy I'm not I'm realizing <laughs> I'm still a millennial I'm not the, <laughs> yes. it's really part of their really of their reality as well yes and to recognize yes, it's not like an addiction it's just their reality it's their world yes I decided to use real products Mm. and real profile and the influencer she's a real mm. influencer in Italy with a million followers okay. so because I didn't want to ha I didn't want to uh, have a, a step in between reality and the fiction mm. I wanted to put the social media world in the movie as mm. an actor as an actor so the social media you can see and the stories and the TikToks, uh, and you see the real ones. We mm. made with phones. We made, yeah. yes, we did it. We made with phones. Mm. Uh, we used uh, the templates, the real templates, and the products mm. you see, the shoes, the food, mm. the restaurants are all, are all real, and they use social media. Okay. That's because it was too much to fake even those levels so mm. i wanted to be the realist as i could mm. uh, in in the comedy so i mm. wanted to use the the social media and uh, i mean the camera look the camera yes. look is is a classic of social media and the 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 generation z generation they are they are very able to talk in the camera because they always talk in the cameras and they are it, natural actors because yeah. they use the camera we we don't know we had to buy um a camera or yes. we had the, yes it, it was really different it was really different that's so that's so fascinating so i wanted yeah. to yeah to, 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 <laughs> thank you i wanted to be uh sincere yeah, no, it came across that way very much so. And um, and and now I'm curious from that, what kind of discussions were had with the actors in the directing process? Um, did things resonate for them? And 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 what kind of things did did yeah? What kind of questions did it bring up? Whether was there anything? Okay. So Fabio Volo is a, a very famous actor, writer, and DJ. On, mm. on the biggest radio station in Italy. So he's an influencer. He has one, mm. million, one million followers. Mm -hmm. So he uses social media and he's a kind of, uh, um, he's a kind of adult teenager mm. because he's, mm. he's 48 because he talks with younger people. So he's, uh, he's something in between. He could play the father part and the influencer part, mm. okay? So it was easy for him to talk about social media because he uses every day to spread his work. Mm. And the influencer girl, I had to direct her as an actress because she thought at the very beginning, she thought the movies were like social media. And I had right. to teach her, I had to teach her that there's something different. And so she could be inspired by herself as influencer, but she couldn't mm. be really herself. So we we gave the we gave the the her character more sense more sensibility, more um, fragility that she she has not. But mm. we used the skin the skin positivity because mm. she is a, she is an advocate for skin mm. positivity because she has problems with skin. 
Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. we use this. And about the girl, the daughter, Geneva Francesconi, who's a real, a real talent. Mm-hmm. Um, she's incredibly talented and she was very easy to direct, but she is the less interested in social media of all the cast. Really? That's interesting. <laughs> it's incredible. So that's what I yeah. say. Maybe that maybe if I'd ever shoot the the sex second bar a sequel a sequel uh i I'd, I'd, uh, I'd read or i write about a girl who closes her social media because she's the she's the farthest about mm. social mm. media she uses to see other people but she she doesn't express herself through social media mm. she's she's very She's very far. She's like, you know, these young stars like Billie Eilish, they mm. post, they post not so much no. and all weird things about themselves with ugly pictures yes. and weird, <laughs> weird, weird, weird <laughs> posts and yeah. weird cap- captions, you know, they're weird. They're yeah. in, the, in the most beautiful way. So yeah. I had to learn about her and ask her how to uh how to 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 talk about how to um to tell a girl as her but just a little bit different of mm-hmm. her more interested in social in social media because this is a i think it's a universal war between uh parents and more than influencer the phone the phone because yes. they're always yes. like this Yes, yes. And how technology can be used well or not well and how it sucks you up. Yes. And and also through the film, you tell quite well how it's not really an age thing. It's a a culture thing. It's a socialization thing. And that's important to know. Our culture influences us. (laughs) And technology has become part of culture now. So learning those things and learning how to use it when it's new to us. Um, Last question about the medium of comedy. Um, I know you work a lot in comedy and tackling some things that can be dangerous like social media and stuff, but through the vessel of comedy, you can let us know a bit about that and why that touches you so much and just briefly whatever closing remarks you'd like to make. Um, So comedy is my uh, key, is my my, uh, key key view, may I say Mm. this? It's the way I see the world. Yeah. And in all my whole world is through humor because mm. humor saves lives and humor's, humor allows us to say things without hurting mm. and uh, mm. taking care of things. And it's, it's hard because my culture, Italian culture is not so... Uh, open to female comedy it's a it's a relatively new brand new thing we are not we have we are not an an old uh we we have we have had few uh famous female comedians Mm. yes Mm. because female icons are not funny you know it's right Italian. it's Italy. serious or oh, yes yeah. yeah, serious or and beautiful or funny not together, <laughs> exactly not a lucille ball um tradition you know not okay but yeah. this is changing so um mm. it, is it possible to mix uh, and make a kind of family rom-com which is mm. which the movie wants wants to be a family mm. rom com, so it's a love story with humor, which mm. is the, the the building. So that the, the, the this kind of strange family the couple have around uh, with all the the neighbors are mm. the real. Uh, they they bring they bring comedy into the into the into the movie. But it, I think I wanted to make um, a family rom com. So yeah. I hope I did. You I did. hope I did. Yes, <laughs> it landed. <laughs> oh, thank thank you. you so much. I wish we could thank talk you, more, but it's been so Next lovely time. to have 
fun with next thank time thank you and yeah, hopefully we meet time. in person <laughs> it it could be really really wonderful because movie uh can bring you all over the world and this is magic and this uh, they can allow, allow you to meet people like you and yeah. other places and the cultural must same heart so this is very yeah. it's warming in this moment in life we have been tra troubling for big things so it's yeah. time to smile together it even is. in distance it is so thank you very much thank you for being a part of that so thank much. you